Okay, for today's problems, I would like you to do some more complex reflections, and then we're going to practice the rotations and the translations. So here we go. So I'd like you to reflect this triangle over this new line here. So I want you to realize that this line has a slope of one half. Hopefully you can see that over two up one over two up one. Then I'm going to have you rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. Oh, nope, counterclockwise. We're always going to assume we're going around the origin unless I tell you which point specifically. So this is going to be 90 degrees counterclockwise around the origin. So here we go. This line over two up one over two up one has a slope of one half to come at it at a 90 degree angle directly perpendicular I gotta come at it at a negative reciprocal slope which means flip it and make it opposite negative negative reciprocal opposite reciprocal almost so it used to be positive one half now it's negative and it used to be one half now it's two over one negative reciprocal so I come at this line at that pattern, not over 2, up 1, but over 1, down 2, over 1, down 2, equal distance. If I do that, I get exactly equal distance, exactly the same distance on either side. So this one, over 1, down 2, over 1, down 2, twice, do it twice, other side of the line, A prime. This one, over 1, down 2, twice, do that twice on the other side and you'll see you'll get that reflected image over a line that's not horizontal or vertical that would fold right on top if I was to fold the paper right down this line. Now for the rotation I'd like you to focus on the coordinates and what's going on with the coordinates. This is the point 2, 4. This A point is going to be 6, negative 3 and then B is going to be 3 negative 1. So if I'm doing a 90 degree counterclockwise that's going to the left a quarter turn left which means I'm gonna flip these points and the left one is gonna be the opposite of what it was. Flip it and make the left one because I'm turning to the left counterclockwise. So to the left becomes the opposite. Let's flip them. So this 3, negative 1, when I flip it, becomes negative 1, 3, but then that left coordinate becomes opposite. So this would rotate to 1, 3. This would flip to negative 2, 6, but then left one opposite, 2, 6. This flips to negative 4, 2, but that left one opposite, positive 4, 2. So the rotated points, when I go left, a quarter turn left, it's going to be 1, 3, 2, 6, 4, 2. Hopefully you can start to memorize that pattern. So here I go. 2, 6, 4, 2, and then 1, 3. Flip it. Make that left one the opposite of what it was. Switch left point opposite don't think negative just think opposite of what it was used to be negative now it's positive used to be negative now positive used to be negative now positive so if I plot that I'm gonna try to do that in green so you can see over 2 up 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 that's the new C this one over 4 up 2 that's gonna be the new C. I'm sorry that's the new C and then over 1 up 3 that's after the rotation make sure you label the points correctly for two point this is C nope not up there make sure you double check that is not correct the correct C after two and then again, I'm not sure why I wrote three on that just put a two if you could here we go that's gonna be C2 don't put a three there a2 up here and I believe this is the B2 and again if you could put a 2 on there I did not do three trans transformations I only did 
two. So fix that if you could. All right, next problem is going to be the true spaghetti problem. Good luck following along. Here we go. I'm going to have you reflect over this line, which has a slope of negative three. Reciprocal opposite is going to be one third, but it's going to be weird because you need to approach it on that slope, but backwards direction. I'm going to have you rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise around the origin to the left. I'm hoping I do. Maybe I go to the right. We'll see. And then I'm going to have you translate along a mystery vector I'm going to put on there, which I'll put on there at after I see after these two transformations where I'm going to have you do that last slide. So here we go. This line has a slope of 3, negative, over 1, down 3, over 1, down 3. That is the slope of this line I'm reflecting over. So if I need to come at it at a 90 degree angle perpendicular, negative reciprocal, flip it and make it opposite 1 third. But again, I'm not moving over here. I'm moving to the left of that line, but still on that same positive one-third slope. So this point A, one-third right there, I'm going to go one-third to the other side. It's going to be right here. It's still on that one-third plane, on that one-third line, but it's on the other side of the line. I'm reflecting equal distance, so one-third one-third over there that is one-third positive that's the new a if I do the C a one-third I'm gonna do two of those one-thirds over here to get my new C and then B one-third coming at that line perpendicular to negative three one-third two of them one-third one-third I do one more that's my new B label them <clears throat> And you could see that is the reflected image over that line. If I folded down this paper down this line, that would fold right on top of the other. Equal distance, equal distance, perpendicular to that line of reflection. That's a perfect reflection. If I go back to that other one and draw those cool little lines, equal distance on either side of that line of reflection. That's how you reflect over those different lines through the origin. All right, now I'm going to have you rotate this 90 degrees. And then again, there is the mistake right there. Make this clockwise, CW, if you could on your paper, CW clockwise so it matches this work. I'm going to have you move this 90 degrees to the right. I meant this to be clockwise. So again, fix that for me, please. 90 degrees to the right means I'm going to take each point. If I'm rotating to the right around the origin, each point is going to flip and the right one is going to be opposite of what it was. I'm going to flip it and the right one becomes oppo. Flip it and the right one becomes opposite. Flip it and the right one becomes opposite. Quarter turn to the right around the origin. Flip the points, make the right one opposite. If that was quarter turn to the left counterclockwise, flip it, make the left one opposite. So here I go. Negative six, negative two. I'm going to flip the points around to negative two, negative six. And then that right one becomes oppo, opposite. So the opposite of negative six is six. So the true rotated point becomes negative two, positive six. Flip it, make the right one opposite of what it was, negative two, positive six. So if I write those all out, I want you to list them and then plot it, be precise. So this one becomes negative two, six. That's gonna be the new rotated point. This one up here becomes four, positive eight. This one becomes two, positive four. Flip it, make the right one oppo. 
opposite. I'm going to try to do this one in green. So if I plot them, it starts to look like spaghetti. I'm sorry, but here I go. Plotting 4, 8, 2, 4, and then negative 2, 6, and then trying to get my label straight. So negative 2, up 6. That's going to be the new B2. Left 2, up 6. Over 2, up 4, 1, 2, 3, and then it looks like I went too far right there, so I will fix that. The new C, over 8, I'm sorry, over 4, up 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, that's the new C. And then I put the proper new A on there, which is over 2, up 4, right here shares that same vertice draw that best I can starts to look like spaghetti I know kinda trippy how it overlaps right there but that's okay and then now I'm gonna take these points and I'm gonna have you do a last slide along this mystery vector which I'm gonna have you shove it down here into this open space as best I can we'll see I'm gonna have you move that right one down four, that's going to be your mystery vector. Right one, down four, that's the last translation. I'm sorry, transformation. Right one, down four. So take these three points and I want you to move them right one, down four. Good luck seeing where that's going to end up, especially if you're using a pen, but good luck. So over one, down four, plus one y minus 4 each point right 1 down 4 right 1 down 4 so here I go I'm gonna do that in black this is gonna be the money triangle right 1 down 4 that's the new B3 this point right 1 down 4 that's the new C3 this point right 1 down 4 that's the new and I went down too far I could see right there I went over 1 one, two, three, four. I went down five. Be careful, be precise. This new point A, right one, down four should really be right here. So maybe you could fix that. And again, see the mistakes. You gotta be precise, you gotta be careful. So my new money triangle, really border right here. That's the money triangle. If you could make that fix, right one down four, it's gonna be right there. Okay. The second to last problem, I'm going to have you plot a motion over this line. So here I go. I want you to see that if I reflect over this line, I'm going equal distance again. Equal distance for this one, though, because it's more basic. Instead of having to go over 1, down 2, or right 3, up 1, this is just straight across from corner to corner when you have a slope of one right there. So back to this problem here. Corner to corner, that gives me my reflection. One corner, half a corner, half a corner, half a box. I could see this is all the way right here. One and a half. This is one and a half straight across. This one, one, two and a half. One half, one, two, two and a half equal distance. Same distance, half a box, two and a half boxes, two and a half boxes. Now I want you to focus on that. And looks like I'm doing a re rotation to the left. That's my look. So let's see. This point is one, four. The other point is three, four. And my last point is three. Uh, eight that's right 90 degree turn counterclockwise to the left around the origin I'm taking these points flipping them make the left one oppo flip them make the left one opposite quarter turn to the left if I was doing quarter turn to the right flip them make the right one opposite but I'm not quarter turn to the left flip them around make the left one opposite so my new 
triangle after the second transformation, a rotation 90 degrees counterclockwise, negative 4, 1, negative 4, 3, negative 8, 3. And then I could see that it looks like now I'm just going straight down. So reflect, rotate, translate straight down. This vector would be an arrow going straight down, down four boxes. I would describe that as x plus zero because I'm not going left or right, but y minus four. So if I write those out, I'm going to write that as reflect over the line y equals x, rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise around the origin, and then translate four boxes down, zero boxes left or right, four boxes down. And I'm going to write that as x plus zero, y minus four. Okay, the last one. I want you to try this on your own good luck. You're going to do a rotation. And my advice is to maybe not rotate to the right clockwise, rotate this 90 degrees counterclockwise. I think that's what I did. Good luck.